All right, there are some big changes coming to Windows 11. This is a blog post on recent update of Windows 11, which is still in preview. Starting from this update, Windows has to comply with the Digital Markets Act in the European Economic Area. So because of the EEA, now we will be able to uninstall Microsoft Edge and other system apps too, like Camera, Cortana, Microsoft Bing, and photos but there is a small problem you can only uninstall microsoft edge and microsoft bing only if you live in one of these eea countries uh, like you can actually do the google search eea countries list and you'll see all the eea countries but even if you don't live in like one of these european countries you can still get these features but there is another problem i'm sorry about this i'm just stretching this too much but this is really important so during windows installation you'll have to choose a country or region to one of these eea countries then you'll have these new features if you don't do that let's say you set it as a united states because you live there you won't be able to uninstall microsoft edge because it's going to be a system app and we all know we can't really uninstall microsoft edge even with some you know uh, deep bloaters out there trust me i tried everything i changed the region got the update uh, i set it to belgium because it is one of the uh, eea countries and then i look for edge just to uninstall it sadly i can't uninstall it because i have to select the one of these eea countries during installation in a country or region option it's going to be the first page where you have to select the country now since it is possible to uninstall microsoft edge completely from the system i'm pretty sure that someone will figure out some other way to uninstall it too maybe someone who makes like deep bloating apps or something like that they'll do something about it i'm pretty sure so for now this is the only one way to uninstall microsoft edge and some other system apps and these changes will only affect uh, starting from the windows 11 build 22.6.1.2787 and above this is the first windows 11 build which will comply with the eea even though i have this update installed still i can't uninstall the microsoft edge because during the setup i chose the country united states so it's not gonna work i'll have to reinstall the windows and then select one of these eea countries and there is one more problem right now since this update is still in preview so there is no iso file available yet as of me making this video even in windows insider preview iso uh, it doesn't have this build so i tested it already and uh, i actually installed the latest preview iso build and i didn't get the latest build so it looks like it's still using the old you know build for the preview iso too so we'll have to wait few more days or weeks then we'll have this uh, build in isos then we'll be able to actually test this out and i'll actually do a tutorial uh, how to set this up and all that if you really want to uninstall the microsoft edge and we can always install microsoft edge from the microsoft store or from the website and i think it's a good idea to actually uninstall microsoft edge or install the windows this way so the microsoft edge will be a you know uninstallable and we'll have more control over it whenever we want to uninstall it we uninstall it whenever we want it we can just install it we'll have more control that's all i'm trying to say here so i think this is a good idea to be honest to make windows better we should have a little bit more control like right now microsoft is being forced to you know comply with the eea if it wasn't for eea this would never happen uh, i think that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye